Sin Queen back again with another video. I mean, as you guys know, we are consistent. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Trust me, you're gonna love it here. And if you're a retaining subscriber, then thank you so, so much for coming back. For today's episode of Mental Health Mondays, we are gonna be talking about the importance of setting your boundaries yes the importance of setting your boundaries and to stop being a people pleaser mind you i am a former people pleaser let me rather say i am a recovered people pleaser so i'm going to be sharing how i got over my people pleasing era and how i managed to set my boundaries and stick to my boundaries so the thing with being a people pleaser is that it seems like a good thing from afar like you think that you're just being nice you're just being kind but it's not good to be nice or to be kind at your own expense when you're a naturally giving person it's always important to remember that there's some people that are very selfish takers don't have limits and the more that you give the more people will expect and the more that you just give yourself a lot of unneeded and unnecessary anxiety the older that i get the more i realize that it's very important to have boundaries guys like it's so so important like having limits knowing that okay there's certain things that you can do there's certain things that you absolutely cannot do it saves you from a lot of low quality experiences it saves you from a lot of stress it saves you from a lot of regrets as well because i noticed that a lot of the situations that i have found myself in situations that were very unfavorable for me I actually put myself in those situations firstly because I didn't respect my boundaries secondly because I also didn't respect myself enough and thirdly because I straight up didn't love myself enough because you know when you love yourself when you respect yourself when you have your own boundaries you save yourself from a lot guys and when those things are not properly in place you will be everywhere doing things you have no business doing and you won't mind because you'll think oh I'm just going with the flow Oh, I'm just being a people person. Oh, I'm just being nice. No, don't do those things at your own expense. I'm speaking from my own experience, but when I was, you know, going to therapy and all of that, because uh, one thing about therapy, guys, we need it. Like, you need counseling, you also need therapy. And during my time in therapy, I realized that people pleasing is actually a disorder, it's dependent personality disorder. And you know, in this life, there's just some people that really want to do things for other people, like, they really want to be dependable. To other people and they don't necessarily need people to do things for them which is a bad thing because you end up with all of this hyper independence and thinking that you know what let me help everyone i don't need help and that's not how it's supposed to be and here are the top signs that you may be a people pleaser the first one being you have a very hard time at saying no even if you say yes at your own expense and by own expense i don't physically mean your own money or whatever i mean like you know that okay this is something that you really can't do like you really cannot do this but you will say yes because you want to be agreeable you know you just can't say no if somebody asks you something your automatic answer is yes and don't get me wrong it's good to say yes but it's not good to betray yourself in the process of everything you may also be a people pleaser if you are very fixated on people's opinions of you and you're very worried about how people are going to view you and for me this was also a big thing i noticed that a lot of the decisions that i would make that i actually regret now it was because i was worried of what would people say about me what would people think of me like if i say no or if i stand my ground are they gonna think i'm rude are they gonna think i'm mean right now i really don't care because you can think whatever you want to think at the end of the day i know myself and that's the important thing you need to know yourself to the point where other people's opinions other people's limiting factors anything from the outside won't affect you and there's this saying that i really love it says when there is no enemy within the enemy from outside cannot hurt you so if you are at peace with yourself and if you love yourself there's nothing that somebody else can do that will hurt you because you will know that okay that's not true though <laughs> that's not true and you need to be very firm in your understanding of yourself you may also be a people pleaser if you are very scared to be selfish now being selfish in most cases is a bad thing but in the sense i mean being selfish by putting yourself first you need to be your number one 
because you are going to be living with yourself your entire life so you really need to put yourself first at all times it's important to value god it's important to value your family it's important to value friends but you need to come first like you are your number one you get me like there's nobody that can come above you actually only god can come above you but apart from that there's nobody else that must come above you you must put your needs first like at all times it's good to be compassionate and stuff but always remember to look out for number one number one being you and I always say this in all of my videos, but guys, it's of the utmost importance to do a lot of self-introspection and a lot of like honesty with yourself, like have honest conversations with yourself, like where you just sit down and you're like, hmm, hmm, like where you just, where you just being real because that helps with self-awareness and self-awareness is something that we all need because without self-awareness, where would we be? <laughs> And self-awareness really helps with your quality of life. I mean, I know it's pretty obvious with me, but the more that I have like self-awareness and the more that I understand myself better, the better that my life becomes. And that's also what I want for you guys. That's also what I want for you guys. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was informative to somebody out there. I hope that it gave you sort of like a beginning point for your self-introspection journey. And with that being said, thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. Until next time, this is it from The Consistent Queen. Bye!